Hello friends, welcome to Simple Mechatronics. This is Make at Home project. Smart, all in one, desktop power supply, which has all features required for electronics hobbyist. Make or buy suitable container to hold all components and circuits comfortably. A big audio amplifier cabinet may be sufficient for the project. High lamp sheets are used here for making cabinet. The back panel holds AC power sockets and DC output connectors. Holes and pockets are planned accordingly using paper templates. Now the front and back panels are ready for assembly. All the high lamp sheets are interconnected to make the cabinet, using small angular brackets made of GI sheets with holes. M3 screws and nuts are used for fastening. This is the main supply to DC converting circuit using dual secondary output transformer. This is the transformer used in the project having 24, 0, 24 and 0, 12 AC outputs. These are the positive, ground, and negative, DC output connections. This is the switch control for the transformer. This is the AC mains wiring used in the project. The video of Triac control module using BTA41 is already available. The link is available in the description below. Now fixing and connecting the triac module to AC power socket and switch control. This is the circuit for variable positive and negative DC power supply with combined bipolar voltmeter and ammeter. Both the videos are already available and respective links are available in the description below. The dual variable power supply module is fixed inside the cabinet whereas the control knobs and bipolar volt amp meter module is to be fixed on the front panel. This is the circuit for step positive and negative DC power supply 3 volts to 15 volts. The video of the module is already available and respective link is available in the description below. Connect the mains power and test for the proper functioning of all the modules connected so far. This is the circuit used for miscellaneous components. The link for video of sleek voltmeter cum battery monitor module is available in the description below. This is the power circuit board for miscellaneous components, which is fitted inside the cabinet. Now, preparing the front panel, USB port is fitted in bottom left corner. Stick the labels sheet on front side to easily identify all the controls. Make holes and openings. You may cover with cellophane tape to avoid catching dust. Fix a fuse holder. Control for triac. With a knob. Fix a switch for DC power control, in series with transformer primary. Fix connectors for Zener meter. And, continuity meter. Fix connectors for step DC outputs, from minus 15 to plus 15. Now, fixing Zener meter module, small changes are made in sleek voltmeter cum battery monitor module to convert the Zener meter. Next, fix the bipolar volt amp meter module. Using, 3 screws and nuts. Now, the front panel is ready. First, connect to step DC output module. Connect all AC switches as per the circuit. Connect bipolar volt amp meter to dual variable power supply module as per the circuit. Connect through current sensors. ACS712. Now, close the front panel. Using 4 or more screws.
Indicators are provided for each switch to know the status. Control knob for triac output. Switch on the DC power supply. Voltage and current readings on LCD and running square on OLED starts displaying. Test by rotating the knobs, the positive and negative output voltages vary accordingly. Test the USB port by connecting some load. Test the output voltages of stepped power supply from minus 15 volts to plus 15 volts using a multimeter. You may test continuity meter using LAD or diode or jumper wires. Also test Xenometer to know the voltage drop across an LAD or diode or Zener diode. Now test the AC supply outputs. First, direct output. Second, through triac control. Close the cover. Select half inch PVC pipe. And heat it to accommodate a switch. Connect an elbow on other end and connect another PVC pipe. Take a bottle cap and file to match the shape of the PVC pipe. Make a holder for 12 volts LED strip light. Make a hole and insert the screw. Make a flexible joint and fasten it to the PVC pipe. The rubber flaps creates some friction between the joining parts and works like locking arrangement. Make the switch control for 12 volts LED strip light. Connect wires to LED light through the PVC pipes with switch control. Take your soldering stand, open the screws of the holding coil. Bend back the holding coil at its neck to reduce the bend angle. Again assemble it back to the stand. Fix the soldering stand to one side of the cabinet in a comfortable place and angle. Connect its plug to the socket behind the cabinet, which has switch control on front panel. Take a magnet and fix it on other side of the cabinet. It is useful to hold small screws and small steel objects, which are prone to be missing. Now, fix the LED light stand to the cabinet using suitable fasteners. Connect 12 volts DC power supply for the LED light. Close the cabinet with cover and screws. Now, the all-in-one smart desktop power supply is ready. 
which has all the features expected by an electronics hobbyist. The top flat surface and bottom gap is available for keeping the frequently used tools and project items. Enjoy! Thank you for watching the video. More details about the current project and related projects are available below in the description.